Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a few unboxings to do for you. So, um, again, they'll not they'll come out one by one, but I'm doing them all at once, basically. Uh, I've gotten a few packages the last day or so, and I just haven't had a second to sit down and uh, open any of them. That's probably the hardest part of doing this <laughs> YouTube stuff is you can't just rip right into the packages you get. Um, you gotta put them aside and uh, take care of the baby and have dinner with the family and go grocery shopping. Have family dinner at your parents, all that good stuff. And I just got home, baby's asleep, wife is doing some uh, cooking for the week, and uh, so I have a second. I have my Dock Street Bohemian Pilsner here, so we're drinking for this one. Absolutely the best beer you can get. And uh, I'm going to start off with just some random packages. I have two that I don't think need their own video. So I'm just going to kind of do them at the same time. And I'll just call this uh, random shit unboxing. So the first one here is from Vero Engineering. And uh, I basically ordered a t-shirt that was like, I think it was shipping and everything. I think I might have paid like 20 bucks. Um, here is the impulse that I recently got. I did a disassembly the other day, put a little Loctite in there and, uh, got this bad boy dialed in. Love this thing already. Um, Joseph has my mini actually, he's working on it or, you know, when he gets to it, he'll work on it. Um, but yeah, I saw this shirt on when I did the live stream with uh jake and kyle on the edge last week jake had just bought one and he told me it was like 16 bucks and i was like okay i'm gonna get one so i ran over to the site and i ordered one real quick and this is it it shipped out like the next day um i got a bureau sticker here so keeping those coming got some candy actually so thanks, Michelle, for throwing those in. Of course, I dropped one. That's pretty much how I do things around here. Um, let me just put the knife away. Pick up the candy, and we can take a look here. So, yeah, guys, this is a District uh, Perfect Try t-shirt. I got 2XL. Uh, I want to know what the blend is. 50 poly, 25 cotton, 25 rayon, guys. Um Here's the shirt. You can see it has the uh, Vero logo over there on the side. Uh, it's kind of like a V-neck deal. I got two X because I'm a big feller. Um, 18 bucks for this is really good. Uh, most people who sell shirts like this for their gear type stuff, you're looking at 25 bucks and then shipping, right? Like I said, with shipping, I think it was maybe 20 bucks. Um, and I used to work in the promotional products industry. So I know that these t-shirts, these district perfect, these try blend shirts, they're expensive. Um, so, and I heard Joseph on Jake's podcast say he has these shirts and hats and stuff made um, just so people can get the logos. He's not trying to make money on these. So that's a good price. Uh, and you know what I'm going to do real quick. Hang on. You guys can sit there and imagine what this manscaped body of perfection looks like. This temple. I've never really liked V-necks, but I think I like this one. There we go. What do you guys think? Representing, baby. Vero, it's where it's at. All right. So that was the Vero product. This one right here. This is my Richard Rogers OEM Slim Utility, a.k.a. the Slut. If you guys remember, when I got that, I traded my Anthem to Jake for this. Um, and... I wasn't too happy with the fit and finish. It was like it squeaked when it opened. Um, it just it had some issues. Detent was like uh, centering. I couldn't. The pivot would walk. Like it was just weird. And I put skiff bearings in it, and that didn't really make a difference, really. Uh, <clears throat> so I sent it to 
Richard Rogers to take a look at. And it took, I don't know how long, it's been a month before he had time to look at it. And they went ahead and shipped it back to me. And they told me that apparently the only issue noted was that skiff bearings don't work. Like they don't fit right. They're too tight. So they don't, you know, they don't move basically. So he put his bearings in it, which I had the stock bearings and I put them in it at one point. That's how I got it. And it had the squeak and everything. So I'm a little concerned that I basically just sent this out for a month and I paid to ship it back and I, it's just going to be the same knife. So uh, I am hoping that he did like a refurbishment or something on it, maybe change some parts. I don't know, but uh, I'm a little worried. So here we go. I'm just going to X through this with the impulse. God, that doesn't get old. Um, just making sure the pivot doesn't walk on this one. It tends to walk really quickly, um, but I did Loctite it, so I'm hoping that after a day and a half, it's good. So here we go. All right. So here, this is it. This is how it showed up. Oh, there's some jelly beans in here. Well, if nothing else, I got some jelly beans, guys. So this is the candy unboxing. <laughs> I love it when a maker does that. And a little thank you card. Hey, Kevin, hope this works better for you. S and R, I think Sally and uh, Richard Rogers. Man, that's cool. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that too. So it seems like you really uh, put some time into it. So I appreciate that. We have this random cloth again. I don't know what this thing is. It says Zang Zang Long. <laughs> so I'm a little confused on that one. Um, the normal sticker, the patch. Here's my skiff bearings. So apparently these don't fit. Um, and uh, here's the knife, guys. So let's get it out. Put everything in here so we don't have any issues. I'll uh, put the bearings aside because if they don't fit, if the maker says these don't fit, then they don't fit. But I've heard people putting skips in their slut, so it's kind of weird. Um, here it is. So as gorgeous and stunning as ever, um, I really did like this knife. So it opens see how the close is there's no play okay still does the squeak so maybe that's just normal maybe that's just how it sounds i mean you hear that right so i'm guessing that's just the knife guys uh it is dead centered yeah dead centered and no play on it um, if it opens, obviously the D10 is super light on this knife. And I guess that is, that's just how it is. That's, that's what this knife is guys. Um, it just has a super light D10. I mean, the action's definitely good on it. That's for sure. Um, so yeah, this knife is back in the collection. I guess I just have to get used to that D10 and maybe just, uh, be a man about it and, uh, you know, just flick it out right yeah that squeak is definitely better it is not as prominent you know um uh, i wonder if it's is it because i'm left-handed yeah that's weird it's a little less noticeable when you do it right-handed i don't know it's a little less noticeable in general so i think uh he did take care of this guy i mean came back centered came back with great action um, I can't fault them for the detent. That's just how he wanted to do it. And with the slot, I guess that makes sense. Um, and people seem to love this. So that must not be an issue for most people. I am a bit of a detent guy. Um, uh, and it obviously works very well, man. This thing is so comfortable in your hand for such a small knife. Um, yeah, I really like this knife. Um, uh, 
That is why I traded for it. That is why I wanted it. For being so small, it just fits into my hand. It almost like melts into my hand. Um, I really, really like that. And uh, this is a very limited knife. They've only made, I don't know how many of these, and they're actually not doing, according to what I heard, they're not doing the um, the slut anymore, the OEM slut. Um, they're kind of doing last drops right now. They have a green version of this, and then they have a carbon fiber one that I think is coming. And I think when that's done, um, they're no longer doing the OEM slut. And this thing is already super popular on the secondary market it goes for like five hundred dollars on the secondary um so it's gonna probably get even more so than that which is crazy because this was probably 250 when it came out maybe 300 um and this thing yeah just a little bit of playing with it and it's smoothing out really nice no play is coming up i'm not gonna mess with this at all the pivot or anything uh, he dialed it in. So thank you to uh, Sally and Richard Rogers for taking care of this for me. I really appreciate it. Their customer service was fantastic. Um, Sally got back to me right away uh, and she just let me know like, hey, thanks for shipping it. Uh, I want you to know that Richard is going to get to it as soon as he can, but he is booked up with doing customs and they have a ranch apparently and he, he does work on the ranch um and yeah so i just appreciate uh the customer service they sent it back perfectly tuned um and sent me some jelly beans so can't ask for more than that guys this is the richard rogers oem slut i can finally uh continue the process with this and do the full review i'm definitely not doing a disassembly i've taken this apart before i don't think it was on camera though but um, I'm just not going to mess with it at this point since he got it dialed. Um, and then I also got the Vero shirt here. So that's it guys. Random shit to unbox. I love you all. I hope you have a fantastic day and I catch you later. Yeah, baby. That's my slut right there. That's my good little slut. Boom. And the action is good.